Yo, what's up everybody? Ross from Unibook here, and we're back again with another video. So today we're taking on another Team Star crew base. Um, I believe this is a poison base. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this. Ross. Hey, Director Clavel. As I've told you, the name's Clyde. Please don't forget it. Now, let's pick up our conversation from where we left off before. As I mentioned, I joined Star Operation Starfall to resolve a sticky situation and to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why the students in Team Star have stopped coming to school. And just like Cassiopeia, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star. And I think I'm starting to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough time, or enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak with students from Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, Ross. <clears throat> And the base is right there, so we're like, we're pretty close. Do me a favor and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of the Navi squad. Take me to Don Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care, I'm not leaving until you let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a break, you little doofus. Hmm... Oh great, here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on, Mr. Grunt, I think this boy might be Ross. The kid who picked a fight with Team Star? Prepare to be raided. I like that option, I like that. Oh boy, this isn't good. Everyone else in base is still asleep since we were up all last night playing video games. Leave it to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. This kid... He'll be in danger if no one's here to defend the base. I owe that man my life. Here's my uh, dear compadre. And when crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally those dear to him, no matter the cost. I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks for a big assist. I like that we can hear the gimme ghoul in the back the entire time, too. <clears throat> um, sure. I mean, I'm not... If the kid wants to fight, we can't say no to him, I guess. What's he got? Oh, Yusuf. A gulpin, okay. Mm. Low kicks with the double kick. <clears throat> New stockpile. The uh, episodes this week, I'm hoping we get more out than we have been. Uh, if you guys noticed, it's been a little slow the past few days. That's because uh, I'm currently in uh, finals week for school. So I've been doing a lot of school work. So um, <clears throat> when this week's over, though, we will have a lot more time to be uh, getting stuff done. So... Hopefully, next week will be a lot faster than the episodes coming out this week. And he was toxic. More poison now. R.I.P. We could have prepared for some poison, I guess. <clears throat> mm. Ooh, a crit. We'll take it out in this next turn. Special defense rows. Hmm, let's see here. We'll just get it out of here with a double kick. <clears throat> also, I want to know what you guys want to see uh, in the coming year for playthrough wise. I have two playthroughs planned that I'm really excited for. But if there's anything else you guys are, like really want to see, de definitely let me know. Um, because. I'm wanting to put out stuff that everybody wants to see, as well as some stuff that I, I enjoy making, so. We're going to switch to Ludwig. Oh. Shrewdle. 
such an ugly Pokemon. I say that about all of them. A lot of the new ones, but I really don't like the design of that Pokemon. Ooh. That was pretty sick. Not too much, not too bad, not too bad. It's okay, Yusuf. You tried your hardest. <laughs> I'm sorry I failed you. Are you alright? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. No fair, you had backup this whole time? Is this boy one of the academy students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right, I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly you have your reasons for being here. Ross, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat, my, uh, my, my man? Don't worry, I won't bite. Okay, nice work dealing with the guard. Within the base lies uh, Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. Their boss, Atticus, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy's also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. Since, so since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell in the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Navi Squad off the map. Alright, we're taking on Team Star now. Seems the folk behind Operation Starfool are making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you got the skills to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss might give you worthy to meet in person. Okay. Will this even be a challenge, is the question. Okay. There's three. A little bit slower start than usual. Okay, there we go, there we go. The Among Us. For some reason, I always figured uh, Among Us would be bigger than he is, but I don't know why. Like, it makes sense that he's only that big, but I always pictured him as, like, massive for some reason. There we go. Less than a minute, we're halfway done. So, I'm gonna say that it's not gonna be as hard as the last one. Or, not even remotely harder than the last one. Last one we did less than two minutes. This one so far has been... It's been a minute and three seconds now. Oh, I still only caught this one here. It'll send my Pokemon out. There we go. Sometimes it just like won't send my mons out. Twenty-six. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. There, less than a minute and a half that time. We actually got 31 Pokemon out of 30. So it was only a, He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. Yeah. I know. <laughs> nah, but for real. A minute 30? That's crazy. Okay, let's see what this, this leader looks like. Ooh, okay. Kind of drippy, kind of drippy. What could? Hmm. I wonder if he's gonna have a graffiti or whatever it's called. It'd be kind of cool. I wish more of the leaders had like regional Pokemon. I feel like a lot of them have Mons from like other gens, which is cool. Don't get me wrong, but <clears throat> pray for. Oh my gosh, <laughs> pray forgive my sudden entrance. Tis I, Atticus. 
You're that scoundrel, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs a team star. Come then, villainous wretch. A plunge and a grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I know his second Pokemon is going to be that, like, car or whatever. If he only has two, like the last one. Um. Kind of doubt. Ooh! Okay. That was kind of cool. See, it's just... Ah, oh, man. I wish it was, like, a regional Pokemon. Like, that's just... It's just weird. Not but punishment awaits the wretch. A plague on your house. He's got four Pokemon, at least, I guess. We won't terrestrialize just yet. Like, uh, Gen 5 is obviously my favorite Gen, because, like, you know, Ross from Unova. But I feel like they did it right with, like, every leader had only, um, Pokemon from that Gen. Which I feel like is the right way to go, because, like, introducing you to new Pokemon, stuff like that. But at the same time, I get it, because it's like, I'm sure Scarlet and Violet's, like, the first games for a lot of people. Like, there's a lot of kids coming to, po like, just starting to play Pokemon now, that this is definitely their first game. So, I could see why they want to introduce those kids to, like, Gen 1 Pokemon, Gen 2, 3, 4 Pokemon. But, I think it'd be cool to have at least one with, like, all Paldea Pokemon. And I mean, maybe I'm the only one who thinks that way. I just, I personally think it'd be a lot cooler. It's not a huge gripe though, it's just kind of something I noticed. I still, overall, I still am very much enjoying the game. Certain moves can poison with a mere grace. Tremble, scoundrel, for thy Pokemon's sake. We do need a heal after this one, probably. Um... We'll take out uh, the mug first, though. Too easy. Okay, so now she's got, or he, he's got one more, and then the car. Revivroom, I think it's called. That's not good. Oh, Revivroom is... <laughs> Does she have two Revivrooms? Or he has two rev rooms. That's kind of, I feel like that's just lazy. Oh, we don't have much at all. I should have switched out, but it's okay. <clears throat> yeah, that's wild. That's a. Uh... This next move is as splendid as its insides. Behold, as, as it gnaws its target away. You sludge. Ugh. Ooh. That poison did a lot more than I'd like it to. We're probably gonna get... killed here. Um. Yeah, that poison's gonna take us out. Yep. It's alright, it's alright. I should've I should have grabbed some. Uh max heals or full heals or whatever. Um We'll send in Scope Villain. Hmm. Yeah, that's just weird that like how why would they do that? Rip. <laughs> I didn't think about that. Oh, that did nothing. Legit, legitimately nothing. Um. Oh, man. And we're out. Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. <clears throat> We'll send in low kicks now. <laughs> Come on now. 
Um, double kick. Oh, not, not what we wanted, but. That should, okay, there we go. And now her second Pokemon is another Revivroom? That's so, that's so lazy and dumb. Ah. Fire, I'll fight on to the bitter end. Yeah, I just don't. That's annoying. Navi Starmobile, level 32. Oh, I was hoping to make it a... Uh, poison Spikes for skill. Oh, that was its ability. Oh man, we survived. Oh man. Is it? Damn. The poison got us, man. Tadpole's actually not too under level. He's still level 29. Like, it sucks that he's poison now, but... He's really not that under level. Man. Okay. Let's see what Axew can do. This poison just giving us a tough go at it. Oh, I should have terrestrialized. Jiminy. Nothing. Nothing, dude. Mm. using that move. <clears throat> we really haven't done anything to this thing yet. Um, we'll, send, we'll try to burn it. <clears throat> and it's really just poisoned again. It's so annoying. Um... Come on. Serve oh thank thank the Lord. Let's go, Cerulege. Hmm. Let's see. I definitely needed to come into this battle with a lot more healing than I did. So I only have potions. I have the soda pop too, but... Oh man, there's... We just have to hope for um, Ludwig to show out. I, if we lose this, that's going to be so annoying. I'm sorry. start with air slash because it might make it full inch which would be so nice and we're already poisoned again which is 
very, very annoying. Um, we're, we're gonna terrestrialize though, and use Air Slash. Come on, it comes down to this. It comes down to this. Come on, Ludwig. Let's take this thing out. Okay, it's okay. Maybe it's not okay. Man. Oh my gosh, we could we should have been doing that this whole time. Oh, we're so screwed. If we can somehow heal enough to get Okay, come on. Come on, Ludwig. Come on, Ludwig. Get a critical hit. Come on, get a critical hit. Oh. Oh, thank God. We, okay. It's getting kind of worried there. I'm not gonna lie. It's getting kind of worried there. It's okay, it's okay. Oh, man. Siri keeps popping up. Forgive me, my friends. About a year and a half ago, another flashback. Forgive me, it took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Whoa, these sick, these boots are insane. Ah oh, yes, the move flame charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great Infernal Airy. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts, anyone who cr crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sort of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geek out over old-fashioned stuff are out of their minds. Uh, I neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Oh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world. Our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. All right, gang, let's move on to the next step. It's time to put our backs into ba our battle training so we're all prepared for Operation Starfall. If, er, Star. We gotta be stronger than everyone else on the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself heart and soul to honoring my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. And so the badge is, the, this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Boom. I think that's, is that three star badges now or four? Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows the, uh, cover their, allows one to cover their opposing gunk. <laughs> My compadre, it seems this little fellow has been dying to speak with you face to face. Please, hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. Whatever brought you here all the way? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. Have you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've not heard a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We have no choice but defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? 
In truth, no one, no one of us has met them in the flesh, but their own word, they are a recluse, as with the rest of us. It would seem bullying was to blame. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious compadre. Come on, comrade. Our only other choice is to maintain our vigils from the basis. Await the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school? But still, don't you ever think Team Star is all you have? you got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. I owe you a great debt. I'm, the more we go on, the more I'm convinced that the guy who calls us on, like, app, like when we do this on our, uh, I almost said ARC phone, but, like, the Rotom phone, positive that that's the, the boss. Huh. Like, this has to be an inside job. But we finished the base, so that's good. I'm hyped on that. This guy right here, he has to be the boss, bro. He, like, knows all the bases, he knows where all they are, he knows all the people in it. Now that his, uh, its boss has been taken down, the Navi squads and numbers are, or days are numbered. <laughs> now, Atticus 2. Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind right now. So, Operation Starfall, you've taken down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. This seems like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one they call the Big Boss. Who is this Big Boss? Maybe it's not him. Who knows? They control the five squads from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. But you kind of operate in the shadows, too. Okay, then it'll be it for Team Star. Since the Big Boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it uh, they're not one for the spotlight. But you do the same thing. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the Big Boss uh, will finally have to take the stage. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone, as promised. I don't know, it, I feel like it's an inside job. Could be wrong though. Anyway, that's it for this episode. Um, next time we will be taking on another Titan, I believe. I believe it's another Titan. If not, it's a gym. It's one of the two. I hope you guys did enjoy and I hope you have a fantastic week. See you later. Peace.